Hey everybody, it's Terry. Welcome back to the workshop. I'm here with a new model. This is the Sky Ranger 40 from Old School Model Works. And unlike most new airplanes on the market, this one is not an ARF. It's actually a balsa and plywood kit that requires assembly. And as you can see, it builds into a clean and simple airplane with very nostalgic styling. This is a four channel airplane with a 60 inch wingspan. And the wing is removable by the way. My example weighs four and a half pounds ready to fly. And it's designed to be powered by a 40 size nitro engine or an electric power system. As usual, I went electric. This is an E-Flight Power 32 motor with an APC 12.8 prop. Hidden behind the firewall is a Grotner 70 amp speed control. And under the hatch here is a Flight Power 4 cell 3300 milliamp hour LiPo battery. And all those parts work together to produce 850 watts of power, which is more than enough for this airplane. Assembly of the kit begins with the wing. And while the design of the wing is rather traditional, parts of the assembly process are not. And really the main deviation here is that two shear webs are attached to each wing rib before the rib is glued to the spar. The advantage of that process is that you get a nice rigid wing structure pretty early in the assembly process. The disadvantage is that you have to be very meticulous about alignment every time you glue a rib into place. So it was a little bit awkward at first, but I got used to it pretty quickly and it wasn't really an issue at all. Each aileron gets its own servo, and the servos are attached to removable plates on the bottom of the wing. The servos I used are high-tech HS225NGs, and the push rods are music wire with a Z-bend on each end. And I like this setup because it's very simple, very strong, and there is no slop. The fuselage is traditional in both design and construction. The front half uses light plywood sides and plywood formers as well. And the rear half, although it looks like it's a truss structure made out of balsa sticks, is actually made with laser cut balsa sheets. So the whole thing goes together very quickly. The top of the fuselage has rounded formers with stringers that run front to back. The stringers that are included in the kit are 1 8 inch balsa. And I knew it was just a matter of time before I grabbed the airplane the wrong way and broke one of those stringers. So I replaced the kit stringers with 1 8 inch basswood. One more thing here. Access to the battery and fuel compartment is with this removable hatch. The kit includes magnets to hold the hatch into place, but I didn't feel like it was held strongly enough. So I added a magnet to each corner to make sure it didn't go anywhere. The tail feathers are made of laser cut quarter inch balsa. So there's not a whole lot to talk about there. I think the only thing worth mentioning is that the manual leaves configuration of the control system up to you. And that includes making your own push rods. So once again, I used Hitech HS225MG servos and they're positioned in the provided servo cutouts. My push rods are carbon fiber tubes with 256 threaded rods on each end. Now my elevator control horn is the simple nylon unit that's included in the kit. The rudder was a little bit more challenging. What I ended up doing is making my own control horn that attaches to the wire which joins the rudder to the tailwheel. One of the great things about building a kit is that you get to decide what the finished product looks like. Most of my model is covered in white Ultra Coat iron-on covering. The fleur de lis accents were made out of Ultra Coat trim sheet and hand cut. The front half of the fuselage I stained and then covered with two coats of water-based polyurethane. Now, in addition to that, I added a pilot bust and a few simple cockpit details. Now, I really felt like the classic styling of this model deserved something a little better than standard wheels. So I used Dubro's vintage wheels. These are the 1 8 scale size, which is a three and a half inch diameter wheel. Overall, I think that the Sky Ranger 40 is really well designed and the laser cut parts fit together well. I didn't run into any big issues when assembling it. Now, with that being said, I don't think this would be a great kit for first time builders. And really my only reason for saying that is, as I mentioned before, the control setup is left up to the builder. The same is true of the engine mounting. So if you've never done those things before, you might not know where to start. But for anyone who's built a kit or two in the past, you shouldn't have any problems. We are finally at the part you've been waiting for. How does this thing fly? Well, I'm glad you asked. With the wide track landing gear and the steerable tail wheel and these big three and a half inch diameter wheels, the ground handling of the Sky Ranger 40 is really good, even on grass, so you won't have any trouble taxiing around. When you take off, it does demand rudder correction to track straight. My motor is mounted with three degrees of right thrust and that helps, but you're still gonna need that rudder thumb. Now, once you're in the air, this turns into a nice, well-rounded sport plane. If you're a fan of the stick line of models and how they fly, well, this is really cut from the same cloth. 
I think that the ailerons are very effective without being twitchy. So rolls are nice and they start and stop like that. Elevator authority is also very good. So we have nice loops and inverted flight and snap rolls. Now I think that the rudder response is a little bit soft. It's fine for normal flying around and things like side slips and coordinated turns, but when you start talking about rudder heavy maneuvers such as stall turns and knife edge flight, well, that's not the best here. With most of my tail dragger RC models, I prefer to land on the main gear and then let the tail settle. But when I do that with the Sky Ranger 40, I tend to have a very bumpy arrival. So I found that this model really prefers a full stall three point landing. This concludes my review of the Sky Ranger 40 from Old School Model Works. I'll close things out with a little bit more flight footage. Also, be sure to check out the written review in Model Aviation Magazine. Thanks for watching.